it's Barb coming to you from my craft studio. I have another haul to share. <laughs> I went to Michael's, Meyer, Hobby Lobby, Target, and I got an order from Amazon and one from Totally Tiffany. Totally Tiffany, I've already kind of started setting them up. I ordered two of these flipping binders. She had them buy one, get one, 50% off, and I knew I needed at least a couple more. So I ordered a set at that price um and i was loading them up last night and i need at least one more i was so hoping i would make it with just the two more that's the way it goes um i ordered the so totally organized bits and bob drawer divider boxes this is for the bits and bob drawers that i ordered on hsn last month yeah in september um it's one of my tasks today. And I ordered another set of the Fantastic Five because I had a bunch of 5 by 7 stencils and I did not have storage for them. I didn't have the right size page to put them in. Amazon. I was running out of labels for my labeler. This is black on white. And I buy the compa compatible brand rather than the um, brother brand because they're so much cheaper and this one's black on clear some things i label i prefer not to have that white background so i like the clear ones that i can um target all i bought were the fake fingers to put in the kids little grab bags coals they aren't crafty they're home decor um i bought this angel that says mom i they had one that said sisters that I really liked, but then I seen this one and it made me think of my mom and I have a little display area that I keep pictures and I keep her old rolling pen and a few other things there and I thought she would look pretty just sitting there. They had one that said grandma and she was holding a plate of cookies. My daughter was with me and she goes, oh, I wish she'd been holding a pie. <laughs> she goes, if she'd been holding the pie, I would have bought it. <laughs> but she did like her with the cookies, but she didn't get her. And then I bought these two postal-themed ornaments, the little letters to Santa. This one actually says it's a photo holder, not a ornament, but I still liked it. I guess it doesn't have anything to hang by, though. You could put a hook up here and hang it on your tree. And then this little one that says letters to Santa. So I picked those two up for that reason. Hobby Lobby, I found this table runner for Halloween. I still want to get one made, made a quilted one, but I know I'm not going to get to that this year. I'm not even sure if I'll get back to it. So I, I have one small sewing project that I need to do for my daughter that I'm hoping I can get done soon. And then I know I need to make my um, cushion covers for Thanksgiving and Christmas. But that might be about all I get done sewing until after the first of the year. But this one has kind of like a spider web look. And it was regular $4.99 and all their Halloween stuff was 40% off. So I went ahead and picked that up. Um, Meyer, I'd been looking at this tablecloth for a while and they finally went down to 75% off. Um, I've been, I'm thinking I just want to get some more um, that are just kind of a basic color and then get like placemats to sit on the table. We don't eat at our table that often, but I like it to look pretty. And even bonus, when it when I scanned at the register, I think it's rang up 90% off. So they'd done a markdown, but hadn't gotten out to changing the tags yet. And the same with this table runner for um, summer. It was marked for it was marked 75% off at 4.25, but it rang up at 90% off. So. I got a really good deal on both of those that I wasn't expect. I was expecting a good deal. I got a really good deal. <laughs> um, at Michael's, I was there. I went mainly to buy another organizer cube. Bought this one. I actually just need an open cube, but I decided that I was going to buy this one regardless. And I can't hold it any longer because that's hurting my shoulder. Um, I would just not put the shelves in so that if I ever decided to move it somewhere else, I'd have 
more options of how to use it, but they were out of the open one anyway, so it didn't really matter. I had a 50% off coupon, so I used that. And then I seen these albums. The sign said $5, and I took it over. I'm like, is that really right? Is that for those Bell's albums? <laughs> you know, because there were a few different types of albums there. So I went over and scanned it at their barcode, and it said four. So I'm like, okay, I'm getting one. Plus, I had 25% uh, off from Joanne to apply to it. And it applied to both items, which usually you can't do that, I guess, because of using a competitor coupon. It didn't know the difference. So since I had the 50% off coupon anyways, um, and it's good through today. I asked Hubby to stop and buy the other Hudson card I want and another one of these because I still have another 25% off coupon too so that I can just finish my... I shouldn't say finish it, but it will finish the items that I know I need at Michael's right now outside of... I know I need a few of the 5x7 Iris cases and I might pick up one here and there when they're on sale because those are really cheap anyways because I know I need probably five or six of them to finish some stamp sets that I know are downstairs because I like to put my wooden sets in one of those and keep them together. I may eventually need another organizer cube for the closet, but I'm not sure there's going to be space for it until I get the other things that I want because I want some more Tiffany's craft binders to put my seasonal stuff in. So I want to see how much room they'll take if there's room. So it might be a couple of years before I get to that. I wouldn't mind adding another one and put a lettering station in there so that I can and will practice my lettering more, hopefully, if it's right accessible. So that's my plan right now. But I'm today's plan is to work on embossing folders. I didn't really catalog any yesterday because we went shopping and hubby was off and I watched a little of craft day. I didn't buy anything. Tiffany wasn't on so it was easier to resist. Um, but I've been shooting for 10 a day which would which would be one page of here because there's five on one side five on the other. Sometimes there are sets in there but I'm just counting each pouch as one. So in my first binder, I'm hoping to maybe do 20 today. We'll see how that goes. I want to get my cube set up and I want to get the bits and bobs drawers over in my sewing area so I can start getting that organized better. And I have some sewing stuff that needs to be put away. So that's kind of where I'm hoping today. And then when he gets that cart and I get that put together, I want to set that up with my Halloween supplies and maybe do a little crafting in between organizing. It'll be easier once I have that cart too to kind of set all my Halloween stuff there and then when I'm not working on it, I can just put it all back on the cart instead of having to put it all away and get it out again. It's just easier to work from the cart. Um, that's really all I have to share today. Um, trying to think if there was anything else I wanted to share that wasn't crafty related. I probably should do a video on I don't think I did one of my templates or my punches, how I how I cataloged those. So I might combine those along with the embossing folders and kind of do a little one of update of how I am. I'm hoping maybe since they didn't have a class this week. Um so we get an extra week maybe to finish my embossing folders during probably not this week, but the next week. I'm not sure how much more I could catalog after that. I know I have some things that I need to go through because as I've been straightening up, I've been trying to go through like a bin every day too that I have. I've found some other, well, I couldn't finish my stencils because of that. So I have some stencils to do. Um, and I found a couple other strays and I found a couple of stamp sets and I also purchased a few new ones that I need to catalog. I have some stamp and die sets, which I think are gonna go directly into my scrap rack. And then I have some that are just dies and I know I'm not gonna do those until I get, unless they're themed and I can put them in the scrap rack until I can get the die storage I want, which I don't know when that'll be. It's a more expensive item. So it might wait a while. Unless I can get a chance to review it, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Um, 
I'm trying to think if there was any other thing I, things I found. I think I got all my punches done. I don't think I have any stray punches around, so that's good news. <laughs> and I know, like I said, I know I have some wood block set ones, but I need storage for those so I can not only catalog by them, but get them put into their home. I need to get my punch bag, new punch bags, and I'm hoping maybe I can swing that. Hoping maybe they'll go on sale again soon, and maybe I can swing it then, but I need nine of them. I definitely need eight, and I'm thinking I might as well just get the ninth, because I have one other punch that I keep on my desk that's gonna, that I'd rather just put into its home and not put it, not leave it on my desk. But and if I put that one away, then I need nine. It isn't so much that I have a lot of punches. It's the punches I have are the big ones. I mean, I've got some Martha Stewart ones, and a few of hers are huge. And a few, like one, I have some of those that come with the separate base. So I'm just going to, even though there might be a little extra room in the bag, just store that type in the bag, like um, the circle edge one so that the base and the punches I have are together. So I just have to grab that bag out when I wanna use the punch so that I don't have the bases separated. But anyways, that's my plan. Is anybody else doing any organization right now? And how are you doing with it? Um, I'll be glad when it's done. I mean, it's a lot of work, but it is so much easier once that system's in place and I've been putting off this part of the organization for a while so well it's a lot of work and I'll be glad when it's finished it I can see the payoff of it of getting it done and getting it done correctly <laughs> I took last time I did it I kind of took some shortcuts and I was never happy with it so I shouldn't have done that plus I've changed my storage which changed that and I think I'm happier with the storage that I've that I'm switching to and that's one thing I wanted to make sure of is that I changed it to something that was going to work for me because I think that's really important that you find the system that works for you and how you craft and Tiffany really does stress that she says you know think about what type of crafter you are when you're choosing your storage and the first time around I kind of chose differently because budget <laughs> the correct storage sometimes is out of budget <laughs> but anyways thanks for joining me i'll catch you next time